the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund is in the top three funds in the world. And what was very interesting about them is that they emphasize responsible investments as one of the uh, cornerstones of their investments. So that's the principle upon which they base all their uh, investments. And so that was a little uh, puzzling to me because why would uh, an entity which is established largely to benefit the country from a financial standpoint with a financial economic objective um, emphasize so much the responsible investment. So my hypothesis here was that indeed the Sovereign Wealth Fund is using the responsible investment principles as a basis to establish legitimacy and to um, normatively influence others. My research found that uh, firms are definitely embracing more of uh, responsible investment principles in their own investments because the government has helped pro professionalize these responsible investment principles by establishing the Council on Ethics, by um, helping create this uh, kind of very robust framework uh, based on which investments can be evaluated uh, for their ethical, uh, corporate governance, environmental, social impacts. Traditionally, we see the role of government as being largely regulative in nature. So governments uh, change the behavior of firms by putting in place rules and regulations and laws. But what is interesting here is that government is changing the behavior of firms uh, through norms. And I'm actually able to measure norms based on the uh, number of announcements for censorships that the government has made, which is again, I would say, uh, not being done before to a great extent because it's it's very difficult to measure norms and to to capture and operationalize normative pressures